The match, paint, and copy tools are three different ways to do essentially the same thing. To copy the parameters of one object to another with just one click. For example, I can copy the size, position, and formatting from one shape to another with just one click. Let's go through an example. If I want to change that umbrella icon for another one, I'll go ahead and add an icon using power tools. But then my new icon doesn't have the right size or formatting. To address that, I'll use the match to first tool. I can select the umbrella first as the reference object, then select the flag, and then click match to first. To quickly swap their positions, I can then use the swap objects tool while both icons are selected. These are operations that happen surprisingly often in PowerPoint, copying formatting and swapping positions. They happen so often that I've added match to first and swap objects to the second and third positions of my quick access toolbar, such that L2, L3 quickly matches the size and formatting and swaps positions. Here's another example of match to first. These gray shapes don't have the same angles to match the shapes on the right. I can edit these manually, but then I'll have to try to replicate that angle perfectly if I want all of them to be consistent. As you can see, this is taking me quite some time and mouse precision. Instead, I can edit my first shape the way I want them all to be at the end, select it first as my reference object, then select all others, and then click match to first. Something power users do every day is aligning the position of similar shapes on different slides. Here, I have slides with the same table. If I change the position of one table, that will mean that my slide elements will seem like they're dancing around or skipping when going through my presentation. Just like you see here, I want them at the same place. I can just copy paste the whole table from one slide to the other. But what if I already had different content in both tables and want to keep them, then I can use copy paste position. As you can see, I added copy position and paste position to the fourth and fifth position in my quick access toolbar. I can then use Alt 4 and Alt 5 to quickly use them. Follow for more if you want to get quicker at building PowerPoint slides.